Hey guys, welcome to my wonderful world of Tinkercad. <laughs> this is the program I use to design everything I ever designed from scratch because I honestly don't know how to use anything that's bigger than this. <laughs> Fusion 360, all that, I don't have no clue, but this I have somewhat of a clue. The only thing I have yet to grasp is a multicolor print using Tinkercad. And I've been playing around, I've been playing around, and I think I might have figured it out. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to create a new design and we're going to change the name of this. We are going to call it 10K YouTube button. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over a box. This box I'm going to make it 200 wide by, I don't know, what would, what would a good play button look like? 175? No, that's way too big. Let's go 150. Nah, too, still too tall. 125, maybe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna radius this thing to somewhat look like a YouTube play button, kind of. Increase the steps to it. Yeah, that might pass as, as a YouTube play button. And let's just, well, yeah, let's keep it 20. Let's, let's keep it a nice big one. But what I want to do is I want to make it flat on the bottom. So I'm going to take a box and I'm just going to make it ungodly big. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it down. Come on, get down there. Yeah, that's below it. I want to bring it up just even with the build plane. Oh, come on, it always, it's always let me do it before. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, that's what I wanted. And then I just take and align it. So I make sure I got everything centered then I'm going to group it. Nope, I'm stupid. Ah, ungroup. That's what happens whenever, whenever you get stupid, when you get older. Let's just drop that down. I just want my play button to be flat. That's all I want. Uh, like that. That'll look good. That'll be fine. So now I can group it. So now I have a flat bottom on my play button. Okay. Now we need to make this into a play button. Right now it's just a, a plaque looking thing and probably not the right shape, but who cares at this point. So we're gonna take a roof. Now we need to make it into a triangle. So let's take, come on. This reason why I don't use Fusion 360 is because I cannot figure stuff out. There we go. We got 90 degrees there. Let's take that and cut. let me grab an arrow. 90 degrees. And it always wants to do that, so I just type in 90. Ah, <sighs> okay. So now I think I figured out earlier it looked better when it was pretty much round numbers. We're gonna raise that sucker up. We're gonna bring it over here. Now, that just looks too small on that play button. So let's take it. We're gonna hold the shift button and drag this until it looks somewhat to scale. It's not horrible. A little bit bigger. Let's just go for 30. Yeah, that looks, that looks decent. Let's raise that up. We don't need it that tall. We only need it about six millimeters. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And sink it down until there's the surface. We'll bring it up one. Let's bring it up two millimeters. That looks decent. Now we're going to align it, put it right in the center of that play button. That looks decent to me. Now, 
trying to remember how I did this. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, let's, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. I've, let, okay, we're good right now. We, we got we got two parts here to this model. We've got the main red part here, and we got this. I'm colorblind, so I think that's green. So let's now go over to numbers and letters and we're going to click on text. I know I guess we're going to bring the text over. It's my first time doing this stuff. <clears throat> let's change this to yellow. I think that's yellow or is it green? I have no idea. I'm colorblind so it's kind of hard to tell the difference sometimes. <laughs> I know it's not that color but I honestly don't know if that's yellow. <laughs> so let's go ahead and say thank you. And then we're going to say, do that? Yeah, we'll do it in the same line. 10,000. And then we're going to hit shift. And we're going to take this and we're going to shrink it down so it'll fit well within our play button. Oh, let's get that raised up. There we go. That looks decent. So now we can, <coughs> excuse me, we can take that and we can sink it down into it. Once again, that's going to be about flush right there. So we're going to take that up to there. Perfect. We'll center it here in a moment. Next thing I want to do is I want to take this text and I want to turn it yellow. I'm hoping that's yellow. I think it is yellow. And we're going to say, oh my goodness, I wish I could do this right. We're going to say YouTube. What in the world have I done? Subscribers. And hope I spelt that correct. Let's add in an explanation point. It's probably going to make it harder to print, but oh well. Shift, take that, shrink it all down, not turn it upside down. And let's take this. What in the world? Okay. So yeah, I want to take that to right about there. Take that, oh, not high enough. Up, in, shrink it a little bit more. Like that. Oh, 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 my goodness. Messing everything up here. Align. Get that back in the middle. And I want to align that in the middle. I want to align that in the middle. It doesn't look horrible. Let's take this one. Let's drop it down where it's even. Let go of it. Take it up two millimeters. That should be the same height as that one. I don't know how that changed colors, but <laughs> oh well. There it is. So, actually, I can take that one. Let's move it further. No, let's just get that back up. There, good enough. And once again, just want to I'll make sure I've got it lined in the middle. There we go. That looks decent. I like that. Okay, so now that we have this, I want to do some playing around with it. So since I have this and it auto saved, I want to click on Tinkercad. It's going to take me back to the main screen where now I can hit that and hit duplicate. 
and I'm going to call this where it says copy of 10k play YouTube play button one and then I'm going to take this make it a hole take that make it a hole take that and make it a hole and then I'm going to export it as an STL file it's preparing it I don't want to speed anything up okay so I have that downloaded now I'm going to go back to Tinkercad back to the main screen again now I'm going to take that same original file and I'm going to say duplicate I'm going to give this one a new name two <laughs> And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take the red play button and I'm going to make it go bye bye. And now I'm going to export because see everything's on a plane. So I'm hoping that when I export as an STL file under a different name, that now I should have something I can put in Acura and merged together as a two color print. So now let's go over to Cura and find out. Okay, so now we're in Cura. I already had this program opened up because I was playing around with this earlier. So let's hope I didn't forget how to do this. I'm going to open file and we're going to take the first file, drop it there. And as you can see, it's got holes in it. It's, it's a hole. It's got the main plaque and it's got where everything's indented down into it. So now when I hit open file and I download the second portion of this file, yeah, it's going to do that. Okay, so we're going to click there and do right click and we're going to say that's extruder one. Okay, fine. Now we're going to click this one, do right click and that's going to be extruder two. Now when I click, I'm going to hold down the shift button, I'm going to left click that and while I'm still holding the shift button I'm going to left click that I'm going to do a right click now that I've let go of the shift button and I'm going to say merge models and move this to the center of my build plate there it is I just made a two color print I think I think let's center this how do I center it? There it is. Center model. Sitting down on the build plate. I don't see any overhangs there. That almost looks like a YouTube play button. It almost looks like one. Now, what I got to do is I go and set up my GTEC A20M and I'm going to set up for a dual color print. It's going to have the play button itself will be bronze because I believe they consider 10,000 subscribers as being a bronze member or creator or wherever it is they call you and do the rest of this in black. I think it's going to pop. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse.